As a child, your place of education should be a sanctuary from the troubles of the outside world. In Greeley, Colorado, at Bella Romero Academy, four through eight, the students there have learned this to be a fictional reality. The outcries of putting children and school faculty in danger, along with claims of environmental racism, have been met with no response or help from the company behind the fear and the people in political and regulatory power. My name is Megan Meyer. I grew up in Greeley, Colorado. I'm a mom, I'm a student. Um, I've kind of just watched oil and gas come through this community the last few years and pretty much destroy everything <laughs> that my family loves. If this project goes through, this um, site will be a 24 well pad within 600 feet from the school's playground which will expose the children to volatile organic compounds like benzene, which has been linked to cancer. The project at Bella Romero is an example of environmental racism. This project was originally supposed to be at a predominantly white upper middle class school on the west side of town known as Frontier Academy. It was then moved to an alternative location, which was behind Bella Romero's ball fields. Bella Romero is a primarily Latino population, low income. Most of the students are on free or reduced lunches. Despite an ongoing lawsuit between extraction oil and gas and different activist groups around the state of Colorado, extraction oil and gas hired subcontractors to start leveling the field in February and started bringing out equipment to begin the early phases of the project. Um, due to this discrepancy, local activists um, participated in a nonviolent direct action and were then cited and arrested by the Weld County Sheriff's Department and sued by extraction oil and gas. Bell Romero is only one example of the way that the industry has come into this community and polluted everything. There was even a spill at this park a few months back and this park was closed for a few months nobody could even come in here everyone that showed up today for being the village for my son and all of the students at the school because the only way that we can stop this is to ask the village so thank you for everyone that came today <laughs>